Okay, there's no need to travel far for a great day out. There are a lot of really fun places to visit right here in Maryland. I agree. And joining us this morning to discuss some of those fabulous places is, of course, Matthew Scales. Good morning, Matthew. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Okay. I love that you wore red and you're matching the fire truck behind you. That probably was not on purpose, but we can appreciate that. <laughs> No, it's not on purpose, but good, good observation. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, let's get right to it. So we, we love Maryland. We we're, do. So, we're so proud to live here, and we know that there are so many cool places to visit. Tell us about some of those. Yeah, so I, I don't think people really realize all the cool, <laughs> unique places that are in Maryland. You know, the people that live in Maryland. Um, there's where I'm standing right here is the Fire Museum. Uh, in Baltimore County, one of the largest fire museums in the country. Um, and then some other stuff that are cool to do. There's uh, Blackwater Wildlife Refuge over in Dorchester County. Uh, people can kayak. Uh, it's, it's great to see birds, so bald eagles, Canadian geese. It's actually considered Everglades of the North, which is cool. Uh, and then, you know, head over to Western Maryland. You have WISP, which right now, uh, you know, there's not too much snow, but still, they still have the the machines going for great for skiing. And then there's, uh, during the summer though too, it's still great because they have a mountain coaster. So people can actually get in a coaster and wind through the slopes uh, at Wisp. So there's all these unique cool places in Maryland uh, that we have to offer. Now at the museum that you're at right now, talk to us more, what you said that's in Baltimore County? Yeah, it's in Baltimore County, right off York Road. Uh, it's kind of tucked in the back. so. Um, you need to, I guess, put it in your GPS to find it, but uh, it's a really cool museum. Like I said, one of the largest fire museums in the country. And uh, they have a lot of, as you can see, a lot of cool, unique um, fire trucks. So if you are into uh, fire trucks and uh, learning about the history of, of uh, fire, this is the place to be. And you mentioned so many different places, so much to do. Where can families go online to get all the scoop? So if you go to visitmaryland.org, that's the place uh, to get all your bucket list experiences. You can order our Destination Maryland guide right here. And then also we have one online as well. So if you'd like a hard copy or online. And then we have our scenic byway videos that people can kind of see all the cool, unique places along our uh, suggested itineraries. Matthew, why do you think it's important for people to explore their state? You know, someone that was born and raised in Maryland, um, since I took this job, I never knew all the great places that are here. Uh, we have such unique history and culture, and I think it's really something that we, we should immerse ourselves in, and um, such as the Fire Museum. I'm so great and happy to be here this morning, and I'm learning about fire history. Do you have a favorite place that you like to visit? Too many to, to count. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Matthew. Thank you, guys.